All right, y'all, what's good? Let's talk about it. USC, they killed Rice, 66 to 14. I went to the game on Saturday. I got some clips, some footage, you know, just from my iPhone. So I'm going to show it at the end of this review. But yeah, so USC, they did their thing. Caleb Williams was solid. I think he had about two touchdowns. Jordan Addison, he had two touchdowns. Yeah, both of them, they, they connected. Mario Williams was solid. Their whole running game was solid. Uh, with Austin Jones, Raleigh Brown, and uh, uh, Dye. Yeah, Dye. Uh, Travis Dye, there we go. Boom. Um, but yeah, so this is how it pretty much started. For those of y'all who weren't able to catch the game live. So I was there. USC got the ball first. So they they went down the you know field pretty easily scored touchdown. Then oh okay so this was the issue in the first half. Rice they were playing the dink and dunk and USC's defense, with the exception of the three pick sixes, they weren't playing well defensively in the first half. They were not playing well defensively. Now like I said one of the uh, pick sixes did happen in the first half. The other two happened in the second half. And there was like three picks in a row, but two of them were back to back. I never seen this in my life. I never seen this in person. Like, nor TV, nor in person. It was amazing. I went with the homie and we were shocked. Like, everybody was shocked. I wanted to get footage of it, but I didn't think they was going to keep on doing it. So I never got the footage of that. I got the footage of a couple of touchdowns that you'll see. So, yeah. It was crazy. It, it was a wonderful game. As a USC fan, it's been so long that we even had a score close to this. Like, usually when USC goes against a team like this in the Clay Helton era, they barely win. Like, barely. But this was a wipeout. How it used to be back, back in the Carroll era. So, shout out to Lincoln Riley. But, yeah. So, they kept dinking and dunking. I think USC, I, I could be wrong with this. Correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong with this. USC, to me, they seem to be playing too much um, cover two. Like I said, I could be wrong with that because they could have been disguising as another different zone coverage. But they were playing a lot of cover two, in my opinion. And Rice was dinking and dunking, dinking and dunking. And then they would hit one to two big runs. But like I said, on the first big run, USC ended up turning that into a turnover. They, they ran it back for a touchdown. But... The two touchdowns that Rice got was basically on runs. Um, so they ran pretty good against USC. I'm not going to lie. The, and then they were passing. But like I said, USC stopped, finally stopped the pass in the third uh, quarter. That's when they went crazy with the pick sixes and was game over from there. So they covered my point spread that I did a bet on. I needed to be 32. They got way over 32. So I was good with that. Uh, but yeah. The defense, their opportunistic defense, I think they're going to be like that for the rest of this year. They did get some sacks at the end of the game. So hopefully they can capitalize off of that into the next game with Stanford because Stanford's clearly better than Rice. I don't care. So, But I think USC's going to smash uh, Stanford. I'll do a separate video on that um, another time. But yeah, I'm, I'm just so happy in that day USC dominated the way they did. And they did it in the heat wave. It was crazy hot. I was so exhausted. I had me a lemonade. I had me two hot dogs. Yeah, and I came back home to get some watermelon juice uh, to hydrate myself. But yeah, like, USC did their thing, especially offensively. Like I said, the running game is really good. I like the, um, I like the formations that we're using. We're basically in shotgun, but... This is like a legit shotgun, not the air raid BS that was happening with Graham Harrell and Clay Helton. Uh, this this is different, and you could tell you could tell that this is a very organized unit just by their first possession, their first series. So, yeah, that's pretty much my take. Uh, you know, USC did wonderful. I think they're gonna run the table. I do think USC is gonna win the Pac-12. I'm not trying to say it just because. They, you know, lay the smack down on Rice. And there's a lot of people that are saying, well, it's only Rice. Okay, well, great teams annihilate bad teams. Alabama does it every year. 
Georgia does it every year. So this is just step one to get the confidence going for the team overall, but especially for the defense, because I don't think the defense is going to be great, but in a Pac-12 conference that is weak, USC should be able to take advantage of all these teams, including Utah, and win the conference. So that's my expectation, that they will win this conference. And if they do, they run the table. They, they got to beat Notre Dame. If they run the table, including me beating Notre Dame, they can make it to the playoffs as a third or fourth seed. But we'll see what happens with Ohio State. Uh, Clemson... I should do a separate video on this. I, I saw the Clemson game. I'll, I'll get that to that another time. But, yeah, I think USC could really be a playoff team. I mean, they're already in the top 10 already just off of their performance in week one. So I think it's going to continue. We're going to get our leg back on Sanford for, for what they did at home last year or at our house uh, last year. We're going to go to their turf, and we're going to destroy them. We're going to lay the smack down on them because they all jabronis. Everybody in L.A. knows Stanford are a bunch of jabronis. <laughs> but, yeah, man, uh, like I said, I, I, I want to see. Oh, this is the one that I do want to uh, critique on Kev Williams. He was slow on a couple of reads. He got better as the game progressed. But kind of early on, like during the middle of the first half, like he got the ball where he needed to go. But there was a couple of times where Mario Williams was in the slot, was open. And he was taking a little bit too long to get to him. But, you know, like he got better. So I'm pretty sure he'll correct that. Uh, you know, another thing I was going to say, he's a funny runner. He's not a natural runner, but he can go. Like, he gets to where he needs to go when it's time to run out of the pocket. So I like that as well. But I'm so thankful that we got Kale Williams, that he transferred here. So thankful that Lincoln Riley decided to become the head coach of the USC Trojans. Uh, I think, like I said, I think we're going to have a fantastic year, finally. And, the you know, the city of L.A. needs this. You know, the Rams doing their thing, champions. The Dodgers, they killing it right now. And MLB, hopefully they'll win a championship this year. And we already know about the Lakers. I'm not talking about the other team because they're the cousins. I'm only talking about the A team <laughs> for basketball. But, yeah, shout out to the Trojans once again. And check out the clips that I'm going to post after this, this review, let me know what you think about the game. What do the Trojans need to approve on, regardless of the blowout score that you saw? And what is your prediction going into this upcoming Saturday against Stanford? I'll let you. Right there, right there. Go, 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 go. Touchdown. That's a touchdown. 